Hi, I'm Nicholas Schneider here with another update on LNG shipping markets. LNG exports increased strongly last year by approximately 20 million tons or 8%. And this was the first year of meaningful LNG export growth since roughly 2011. In fact, for a few years between 2012 and 2015, only a few new LNG export projects came online. And this was almost entirely offset by production losses at older facilities. In contrast, this past year, four new LNG export projects came online, including the Gorgon and AP LNG export projects in Australia, the Sabine Pass project in the US, and the world's first floating LNG production vessel for Petronas in Malaysia. In addition, three projects expanded production this past year, including the restart of the Angola LNG project in West Africa. LNG imports also kept pace with new LNG export supply this past year, with Asia and the Middle East and North Africa region absorbing most of the net increase in LNG exports this past year. In fact, LNG imports increased by roughly 30% in India this past year, 40% in China, and imports in the Middle East and North Africa region almost doubled year over year. Much of the LNG import growth this past year was driven by countries that weren't even importing LNG a few years ago. Through the use of floating storage and regasification units, or FSRUs, which are often quicker and cheaper to deploy than, uh, than land-based import infrastructure, new countries are quickly becoming demand centers for LNG. In fact, four new FSRUs have started in Egypt, Jordan, and Pakistan since 2015, and two new FSRUs are scheduled to start in Pakistan in 2017 and 2018. While LNG trade increased strongly this past year, the LNG fleet increased by almost as much. As a result, average spot charter rates in 2016 were relatively unchanged from 2015. However, charter rates have started to increase since the second half of 2016, and we expect the market will continue to tighten in 2017 now that LNG supply is increasing faster than fleet supply. In fact, we estimate LNG exports will increase by approximately 13% in 2017, compared to a fleet supply of an increase of approximately 10%, leading to an increase in fleet utilization and charter rates. In the longer term to 2020, we continue to see the growth of LNG trade outstripping the supply of LNG vessels. Currently, there are 12 LNG export projects in construction with a total export capacity of roughly 120 million tons per year. As a result, we estimate LNG trade will increase 36% from current levels by 2020, compared to an increase in the LNG fleet of roughly 27% from the current order book. As a result, we continue to see demand for uh, roughly 20 to 30 additional LNG new build orders on top of the current order book for delivery by 2020. In summary, the recent increase in LNG charter rates is encouraging, and we continue to see the market tightening in 2017 and onwards as LNG supply is now increasing faster than the fleet driven by a number of export projects that will start up over the next few years in Australia, United States, Russia, and elsewhere. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll be back next quarter with another update.